I'm hungry. Well, you came to the wrong place. <laughs> because you should have gone to you, North if, Carolina. If you cared about eating this morning, you went to Lumberton. Ooh, it's the only place good. with food. Hey, Abby. Hey, good morning, you guys. Yeah, the food here is so good in the South. Everything is good. But here they're known for chicken and pastries, fried chicken and dumplings. We're going to be making that up a little bit later in the show. But I'm going to bring you into our conversation because we've been talking all morning long with Steve here and Ricky. As you can see, Steve, Steve Stone. <laughs> and you're also the chairman of the Board of Elections here in Robinson County. Give us a sense of what happened this time because it has long gone Democratic. What did you see? Why did President Trump win? Well, I've I seen voters, longtime Democrat voters, wanting to change parties. They, they, they had optimism and hope. They were looking for change. And they were expressing that they were believing Trump was just telling them like it was. He was telling them what they were wanting to hear because it was what they were saying and how they felt. And they had confidence in him that he wasn't uh, telling them anything that was not true, that he would drain the swamp, that he would bring economic prosperity and work on that. Cause it, it has been tough times here it in has Lumberton, been right? Tough times what was since the saying that you just told me about, about Lumberton? Years ago, the, the best view of Robson County was a rear view mirror. He left town trying to find money. And, and that's because of NAFTA. And after NAFTA, that's what we've seen. Textiles and manufacturing business leaving Lumberton, leaving town, leaving the nation. And it left abandoned factories, some of them now turned into junkyards. And, and with it went jobs. And when the jobs went, when, when the youth and the, the brains of the county yeah. got educated, they had to go elsewhere. But you said you're already seeing hope in the last three oh, months. Tell it, us what it, you do. It's exactly. been amazing in, in, in three or four months. I mean, what do you I'm, do a, I'm a contractor. contractor. I'm a general contractor. And, and I work a lot of people and work for a lot of people. And now it's get in line. You, got, you have to get on a list, people on the list to work because everybody's busy. There is a job for people that want to work. And people that have small companies, they're, they're, they're having to put people yeah. on list. I mean, it's no longer call the night and get the job done tomorrow. People are busy. They're making money, and they're spreading that money. And, and these people voted for Trump because, like these girls here, they want to keep more of what they earn. They built this. They made this. Government didn't make it. They want to keep the they money that they make in their pocket. They want to keep the money they make so they can expand and maybe have more parents. They don't, you know. Ricky, are you, I see your Make America Great Again hat. Are you frustrated that there has been such a resistance with President Trump that well, it has I'm, been tough to get anything done? I'm disappointed by a lot of them Democrats out there who won't work with the president. Yeah. You used to be a Democrat 20 was, years ago. 20 years ago, I was a Democrat. What happened? I seen the way our country was going the wrong direction when they took prayer in all our schools. And I'm waiting for Donald Trump to put it back in. Are you hopeful? I'm hopeful. Are you seeing things got, turning around here? I'm seeing a little bit. What do you do? I do seamless gutters and rainwater management. So you guys kind of work together. We, we work together. And he's talking about the Democrats not getting along with Trump. And I'm a lifelong Republican and, and a, a staunch conservative. But we also have some factions of the Republicans that just don't want to uh, agree to disagree. I mean, they're, they're even fighting this change that, that's bringing the economy around. And I mean, Republicans need to get on board with each other as well. No, it's a great point. We're going to leave it there. As you can see, Steve Ryan Ainsley, just some, such interesting conversations here in Lumberton. I mean, they've been through so much. They understand what it means to, to get working and how important that is for them. Right, and the job numbers reflect their optimism. Thanks so much, Abby. Appreciate it. Yeah.